can recall a few years ago when I moved to California, you know, I looked at the difference in the cost of living and I said, oh my goodness, God, I need to have a job that is going to uh, allow me to make at least, you know, I have to make over $100,000 a year to live the way I want to live. <laughs> like God said, and that's a problem for whom? So it took a little while for that to happen. But I began to, you know, as I was working with a practitioner at First Church, <coughs> I began to become much more open to changing jobs, changing positions, and looking as part of the criteria for accepting that new job or that new position, that I was getting an increase. When you plant the seed, the seed will multiply and it multiplies after its own kind. So the seed that I had was, thank you God for the funds that are being provided. I accept this as the supply of God. And thank you Papa, says Reverend Victor, and I thank you for sending more. So as I continue to move from one position to the other, I always receive an increase. Some that I was aware of and some that were a surprise. And another way that the increase in funds came was because I had developed a certain way of presenting my work and doing my work. I always got rewards. I always got bonuses. Always. Always when I wasn't even thinking about it. I was receiving the I was being nominated and being selected and I'm saying thank you God but I'm continuing to affirm those words, those seed thoughts that the practitioner had worked with me to develop. I first started out using the affirmations from Ernest Holmes and when I felt like things had slowed up and things weren't working as well as I really wanted them to this thought hit my mind. The experience that you have has to be your own. So it's now time for you to make up your own affirmations. And they have to be specific for you. So when I started creating my own affirmations and they were specific for the things that I want, I saw more progress and I saw it happen. That meant that Carolyn was 100% invested and involved in the uprooting of the plants, the crabgrass, and the weeds that I didn't want. And it brought forth the finances that I truly felt that I should have. So by the time I ended that working career, I was well over what I established that I wanted in the beginning. And God had blessed me beyond what I thought I could have. So know that the divine mind of spirit, when you are in partnership, in unity with it, can bless you with more than you actually think. And the last thing, align yourself, always align yourself with spirit. God is the wholeness of life, and you are wholeness in life. You experience it every day. There is no separation in that. None whatsoever. I know that is sometimes a hard concept to believe, but nevertheless, it is yet true. Sometimes, to see that concept and to experience it fully, we have to just by faith believe it, by faith accept it, by faith, see it being manifested in someone else and know that if God is not a respecter of persons, that the same success that God has given Elon Musk, has given Bill Gates, or anyone else that you are aware of that has such a large yes, that same is available to you too. It's available to you. Today, it's time to let go of the plants you don't want. It's time to weed the garden. It's time to pull out the crabgrass. And it's time through your own deliberate effort to claim your harvest. And with that